All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, Kid is Gaming. Welcome back to Mount Blade Warband. Haven't said that in a while, but uh, thank you, Manvith. Uh, probably just totally scarred your name up on pronouncing it. But uh, anyways, this is for you and also anybody else watching this video. But how to go about playing Warband. I get a lot of questions about this, about that. And now I have somebody struggling with just retaining a faction, I think is where Man Manvith is in his gameplay and sorry if you keep, keep your name bud but yep just trying to help anyways so we're just going to cover all bases because i'm not sure where anybody is that watches the video other than that in their particular playthrough right now where i'm at is i just got up to about 70 men leveling up a little bit chasing bandits around and everything the first thing you want to do guys once you start out in the game freshy fresh is Build your forces up. Stop at all the towns that you can afford to recruit at on your way to Sea Raider Country. You want to go to Sea Raider Country, and that is, well, I'll just point in the Revidan. It's really, it's Rivacheg over here. I probably can't hit it from this direction, but it's in that direction right there. Rivacheg, it's along the northern sea coast where the Vigors, uh, faction kind of resides so you should be at peace with everybody because you're not in a faction yet anyways but you want to level up and you want to level up good you don't want forest bandits and stuff like that they're all good well and all you can fight them along the way as you recruit along the way but you want to go up to sea raider country where the sea raider bandits are they're tougher you get way better gear, you get way better money out of the battles for fighting them. And if you can stand up to them guys, you have a better chance of standing up to an actual army from a faction because trust me, there's a big difference. An army from a faction will whoop your butt if you're not ready for them yet. So, let's just go down the list. I made a bunch of notes so I wouldn't kind of ramble and get off topic or focus or what have you guys but just bear with me sit down and enjoy the ride here because we're going to cover a lot of material but yeah so first start now guys don't rush this game it's it's a game that you're going to have to take a little while with it's going to you're going to have to level up for one and build up your renown and char uh, charisma and intelligence and, and all of that so let's go to let's go to character actually right at the moment here so you can see I'm not very high in st statistics here I'm at only level eight but at say my latest playthrough I'm at like 25 you know leadership look how hard I'm focusing on leadership right now trade is an important one to start out with guys persuasion Engineering just it's not important, but I think it came those stats kind of came that way I may have added one or wait I don't have anything in engineering yet because engineering isn't important when you first start now guys because you're not going to be sieging anything Anyways, you haven't even joined a faction yet, which is going to be your next step is Going to be to seek out a faction once you have enough men to seek out a faction say 50 or more is what you want to have 50 hardened guys like not novice soldiers but of some sort of rank you want to seek out whatever faction you're going to want to reside in for the time being so if you're in the middle of the realm and that's what some of you are having problems with um, is in the middle of the realm well yeah Swadia is in the middle of the realm which means everything around them is an opposing faction it's not like say the Kyrgyz or the Serenids down here where they have okay so the Serenids have the Rodox and the Swadians and the Kyrgyz to worry about really that's all they have to worry about the Nords over here have the Swadians and the Vigors to worry about the Kyrgyz have the Vigors and the uh, Serenids and the Swadians to worry about. Well, the Swadians have everybody to worry about, and that's why it's hard to retain land and hold it. And Swadian land, if you're if you're trying your faction out in the middle of this, the middle of the map, guys, you're gonna have to bulk up your castles. You're gonna have to stay on top of that. You're gonna have to have enough lords to defend your land. And also, when you're in war, they're all with you anyway so you can have them ride off and, and stay 
at castles you can command them in that such and everything guys i'm playing banner lord right now the newest edition of mountain blade and you don't have all those commands anymore and that's one of the things i do miss about the two variations which i would have to back up and say that warband is probably one of the greatest games i've ever played and uh, banner lord falls not short at all from that for sure so what you want to work on guys is right out the gate is charisma leadership persuasion intelligence for sure intelligence gives you two skill points per each time that you select intelligence so when you put an in intelligence attribute point right here you get two over here any other one you get one so that's the difference between that so you can fill in the gaps a lot quicker if you have a higher intelligence also charisma is probably going to be your most important attribute of them all who cares if you can chop somebody down if you can't persuade lords to come to your faction charisma is important you want to get charisma up high enough to where your leadership's getting up there also renown is going to affect your leadership guys you want to get your renown up to a decent bit we can go to the other charts over here if you like so as of right now i have 204 that's pretty darn good seeing how i just started out not too long ago i also have 70 men i should be at about the 40 50 mark for the average player guys but i have a high charisma so that's giving me more men in my army all right so what are we on to next yes we want to join a faction you want to join whichever one that you want to join now the king is not going to let you join maybe he will maybe he will you can definitely relate to my playlist of warband videos guys this is going to be the latest addition to it so if you just start at the beginning or cherry pick the videos they might you might find interesting i have a lot of knowledge and visual aid of a lot of things in that playlist so with that being said so you want to he's going to send you out and he's going to tell you to attack the enemy in his name so he's not your king yet but you need to impress him so yes well, whoever they're at war with you need to go seek them out and kick one of their lords butts it should maybe only take one or two you fight a couple uh, enemy lords then go back and seek out your seek out the king that you're trying to join the faction with and more than likely if your charisma is high enough you've ground out enough you, you've been grinding a little bit over there in sea raider country you're leveled up a little bit you're pouring stuff into charisma leadership all that good stuff he should just give you a thumbs up for sure and then you're in the faction so you're doing good then guys so once you've joined a faction guys you want to reach a strength of men of at least a hundred in your army under your command during that time serving uh, a king raid towns and cash the loot in these towns here these little towns that fuel the cities or the capitals I like to call them guys they bring product into these places these trade markets uh, cities these little towns do well when you're at war with another faction it can be very profitable for you so you don't want to worry about anything else when you're in another faction except for this you you worry about you don't worry about what your faction's doing take advantage of the fact that you're at war right now with another faction and go loot the crap out of all their towns that you possibly can get away with be careful and i i stress this be careful when you're doing this because it's going to attract the lord that owns that town possibly if he's in the vicinity he will come at you if he has enough men he could take you and then you're going to be back down to rebuilding your army again which is a small setback and a roll of the dice with the luck that you're going to pull it off but i'm telling you guys if you do you're looking at anywhere between one to five thousand dollars you can cash back in to one of these cities and you'll be financially set that will be one of the steps towards achieving your own faction you, you don't need to start your own faction until you're ready and I'm going to tell you all the preparations that's going to get you ready there. So, don't be, don't do silly things. And don't join sieges. Like, if your faction's sieging the enemy faction, don't join in if you think that you're going to lose too many. If it's cost, if it's going to be costly to you, don't join in. Just 
do your own thing. Go loot towns, you know. Uh, chase lords around. Fight lords. That's a that's a good way to level up too, guys, and everything. All right, so on to the next. Once you've reached a financial comfort zone and also have enough men to siege a castle on your own. So the average castle runs about a buck fifty. These cities can range anywhere between. Uh, hold on, I'll be able to talk in a second. Depending on how long into the game you are or how early into the game you are, they usually start out at about 300 men or so, guys. When the when the castle first starts out, so let's see here. Not at war with it. Okay, so now it's going to give me stats. Uh, hold on, let me back back out. All right, so this one has 338 men in it. Definitely not going to be something you're going to be taking on right out the gate. But this castle over here might have about 150 men in it. So if you can get up to about 100 to 150 men, you could pull off sieging that castle. This is important. You, you must siege a castle once you break away from the faction that you're serving. You have to break away from the faction you're serving first, of course, and then find and seek a castle out. What I like to do, guys, is I'll wait for two factions to be at war with each other. I'll be around the vicinity of where they're sieging castles. Whichever one wins and, and leaves that castle, they're gonna leave it very vulnerable, guys, like with 40 men in it. You wait for them all to leave, they'll leave, to go fight somewhere else, what have you. So you, you scope it out. <clears throat> and then when the time's right, you strike. You go to war with that faction real quick. You attack one of their lords. You attack one of their towns. What have you. You go to war with them. Take that castle or try to take that castle. It may try. It may take a couple attempts. It, it, it really may. All right. On to the next. All right. Yeah. We want to seek our first castle. Um, let's see here. What do we have? All right, now you're a faction. So so if you've sieged this castle successfully, you are officially a faction now. And this is the only thing that's going to make you a faction is by sieging that first castle. A lot of you know this, some of you don't. Also, this is something else you may not know, is if you say siege that castle, become a faction, yay, you're your own faction. Oh, crap, here's a big army to siege it back from me. What am I going to do? Well, you're going to leave the castle for one so you don't get imprisoned and lose your army but you're gonna yes lose that castle that does not deduct you from being a faction still you are permanently a faction still after you take that first castle so you're good guys just be patient just be patient if you lose your first castle that's fine you'll find another one you'll take it in that time in doing so you could be seeking lords out to join your faction which i do believe all right, I say leadership and renown must be high. Yes, it really must. Like, if you're starting your own faction, guys, if you think you're at the point to where you're ready to break from the faction you're serving under and start your own faction, well, there's a few things that you need to make sure is high enough. First of all, it's not showing on here my renown level, but 204 is what it's at. You need to be at about a thousand renown, probably. Somewhere in that vicinity. King Hood's around the 1500 range. Trust me, I've checked their renown level uh, because you can do that. You can basically encyclopedia any of them in the notes section, guys. You can get a lot of information out of the notes section. Say we go to factions here. Say we go to Serenids. Say so we go to Sultan Hakim. Renown, 1228. He has 1228. I have 204 as of right now. So, I'm not, and I only have, I think I have three right to rule, which I would have to say is kind of impressive, the fact that I haven't even made my own faction and I, I have three right to rule. You want your right to rule to be at about the 50% mark, about 50. You want about 50 right to rule. Um, before you decide to break from your faction. It's just, you, you do. You just do because it's going to give you some pull with the other lords. At this point, 
you have enough renown as well because your charisma and leadership is high, right guys? Your charisma and leadership is high. So you're gonna be gaining a lot more renown a lot quicker. All right, so seek lords out to join your faction. Also, your first castle, you can make your court. You're gonna need a few things. I think you need a bolt of something and I, I, I can't stand the fact that I can't remember exactly what it is guys it's a bolt of something like a bolt of cloth or something like that and like wine or some crap it, it may vary it may I, I think I've caught it varying before but it's usually just like tools and a bolt of something and then you can make <clears throat> one of your castles more than likely your first one if you're <clears throat> on top of everything guys just go step by step with all this you can make one your court, and what that's going to allow, guys, is in your court, lords that like you, when you've started your own faction, will come there. And those are like lords that are a given, guys, like they're ready. All you have to do is accept them, and they'll join your, join your faction in your court. One of your castles is your court. If you've made a court already, if you're not, get on that and get your court going. Um, all right, so after you've started your own faction, guys, and you have a few lords kicking around a castle or two that you've taken over by yourself, hopefully, <clears throat> and this is a um, likely scenario, actually, is when you join, when you start your own faction, guys, you're going to initially have to go to war with somebody to do that, to take one of their castles. They can be awfully mad about that. <clears throat> and want to send an army after you and immediately just take the castle that you took and then you're back to square one looking for another castle well i mean you know you just you got to keep trying guys but yes so now you're at war with this this faction start picking on their lords start reducing their numbers and everything wait for right opportunities to siege their castles so I'm going to leave it at this. This has been a 17 minute tips video. I'm going to leave it at this guys. I'm sure that there's so much information really that we could just go over. I could just blah blah all night long in this video for you guys. But what I'm going to do is recommend that you just watch the playlist that I have. Especially I think I started an expert walkthrough. Yes, that's the last I left off was an expert walkthrough. So. I blobber a lot about a lot of key things that are really important to you but basically if you're starting your game you want to build a character with high charisma high high charisma and high persuasion high leadership pick the top selection of each question when it's asking you where you're from what did you do all of that at the very beginning of the game guys you want to pick the top selection on each of those questions is going to give you the highest nobility that's something else i didn't really cover a lot of guys but i do have a nobility how to do a nobility build video in that playlist along with many others like start your own faction so you should check that check that playlist out hopefully hope you oh god i can't talk now hold on just needed to wet my whistle there i think a little bit <clears throat> all right so yes you should check that playlist out for sure i'm going to take this time to go ahead and promote my banner lord series and maybe you guys can check that out as well that's going pretty good too we're dominating in that one as well so we're, we've came a long way so that's cool but yes check that checklist out give me a like give me a subscribe and uh, that's all I got for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, we'll see you later.